Our company was founded in 1918 and we're getting close to our 100 year mark. As our customers required new innovations, we've worked with them and we're continuing that process now with the 3D printer in new ways to manufacture our machines and pieces for our machines. We uh, needed to come up with a way to build shapes quicker for our customers so that they could in turn be a better tool for their customers as they provided and brought products to market. A group of us started investigating 3D printing and how we might be able to use that in our business to help us produce parts like this for the machines we already fabricated. From there we made the decision to purchase the machine and we've printed a lot of different parts out of that machine to be used on our machines. This is a part that is used in an Idaho Steel Products rotary former. It is used as a piston in the forming process. There's some major differences between this part and the 3D printed part. It has fasteners on the back of it. We have to build this in multiple pieces. This part consists of one, two, three, four, five different pieces. We take a chance of fasteners coming out of the parts. Now that we're able to 3D print these parts, this is all done in one piece. The fasteners are gone, the sanitation problem is solved, and uh, the strength of the piece is much stronger. We were looking at what it would take us to machine it as we had traditionally done. It would take around 250 hours. That's a, a work day, eight to 10 hours a day. So it would take our guys 25 days doing that. Where we're printing this, we're able to do it in uh, around 90 hours, and that's straight time. So this machine would work through the night, doesn't matter if it's holidays, weekends, it's just a straight 90 hours. So that then would save time, but also open up those machines that would be tied up for those 25 days to really give us added throughput through our shop. This is a sensor housing that in the past we had been buying and we're happy with it. For whatever reason, the last batch that we got, the quality was not near the, nearly the same. We had the idea to see if we could design a better one and 3D print it. We changed the design of it a little bit, put our logo on it, and this one also we printed threads in it. So that's all finished. One of the bigger things that we've done is where this cap was just loose before that would be taken off and possibly lost or falling in product. We were able to 3D print a chain onto it. So quite a bit better design in the end for our customers. We were able to print the threads in this. So as it comes out of the machine or out of the printer, it gets cleaned up and it goes right to our machine to be bolted on. The price difference is huge. The price difference of this one's probably uh, 10 times the price of this one. This is probably 500 bucks and we're probably talking 50 bucks for, for this one. So that's huge. We're no longer limited by uh, our standard and traditional machining tools. We're now only limited by the imagination and the creativity of our design group. So the ability to 3D print gives us the ability to design and manufacture better machines.